Hello. Hello. So we are going to do a body measuring today so that we can prepare a dress custom made for you. So I will be measuring your uh, body in detail. There is nothing much that you will have to do. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just start. So I will be writing down the measurements in the meantime. So we will start with the upper body. Okay, I'll just write down your name. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea of what kind of dresses you would like? Um, Will it be like summer, spring type or spring type? Spring but type. It's to you. Okay. Spring type. All right. We will then try some dresses on. Uh, so that you can see what about our shape you would like to have and so on. Okay, so let's just start. So I'll put this down. So, okay, I will just move your hair to the back now. We will start with the measuring. So first off, if I may ask you to have your hands mm -hmm. like next to your hips. Perfect. And I will be measuring from here, from your shoulder to your wrist. And your wrist is about here. Okay. So that's 60 centimeters. Oh, wait a second. Yes, that's 60 centimeters. It should be the same on the other side, yeah. but sometimes it happens that um, one of our limbs are actually longer than on the other side, especially with the legs. Mm -hmm. So, again, I will try to locate your wrist, which is right here. Perfect. It's a 60 again. You don't have to worry about anything. Okay. So that was 60. So what I will do is I will sketch your body. Don't worry. I don't really think that you look like this. That's mm -hmm. just... the shoulders, the arms, okay, your body, great, now your legs, okay, and we will make the measurement here, okay, that, like this, and that's 60 centimeters, 60 centimeters, perfect, I will also make some hair. So that you don't look, don't look that manly. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I will continue with measuring from your shoulder to your elbow. Now the width, now the width of your shoulders.
centimeters. Okay, now let's look at your, and we will measure probably, okay, we will now measure the chest, all right, and then also your neck in case you would want to have a collar. So if you can lift your arms for me like this and spread them I go really close and just Okay, so you will first measure the upper portion which is 95 and now across and that's 102 so 95, you can relax your hands now. So the body is 95 centimeters and across. It's 102 centimeters. Great. So what we will do now is measure. Again, if you can just spread your arms a little bit away from your perfect. So now the underbust that's 82 and on your hips. Now at the okay, yeah, good. And on the hips it's 98. So it was 82. It was 82.98 centimeters perfect. Now I will measure your neck. So far, I have the neck, which is 32. Then we have uh, the shoulder width, which is 42. Then we have the upper chest, basically from armpit to armpit, which is 95. Then we have across your chest, which is 102. Uh, then we have also your under bust, which is 82 and your hips are 98 centimeters long. We also did your arms, which are um, 60 centimeters uh, from the top of the shoulder to uh, the bottom to your wrist on both the sides. And then we also did um, from the shoulder to your elbow. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now, I will now again ask you to uh, lift your hands and we will be measuring basically from your armpits to your mm -hmm. hips and also from armpits to um, um, you know to the thinnest part of your uh, of your body yeah the waist perfect thank you so if you can lift your hand okay so we will go now so this part is right here, so that is 25 centimeters. Now, 25 and your hip, and your hips are right here. So, let's measure it like that. That's 35. 
so it was um, 20, 23 and 35 23 and 35 but I can do it on the other side You can lift your uh, arm again, or yeah, put it behind you. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty, twenty-three. That's correct. And to your head. your calf to go out a bit and that's 30 31 centimeters and width is Can I 
I'll just have you turned around a little bit to this mm -hmm. side. Perfect, thank you. you have your arms spread for me and I'll be measuring across here and that's 100 and that's 109 okay you can relax your hands now Sometimes it happens that the legs are unproportional. So this is the upper part, this is the lower part. Yeah, so 49.56 it should be. And it is again 49, that's perfect. And 56. Yeah, great. So it's the same. Now from here to there, and that's a 31 again, and this is 39 actually. So there's one centimeter difference between your calves. So this one was smaller than mm -hmm. this one, but no worries about that. That's <laughs> like absolutely normal. It happens the same with the ties or with the cheeks, you know, mm -hmm. it's sometimes just disproportional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. About one centimeter here and there, it's really not noticeable at all. Yeah. Okay. So now here, that is 46. And here it's 65. Funny thing is that um, you actually have one centimeter smaller um, thigh here in this area as well. Yeah. So we have your uh, length from the hips to the knee to the um, bottom side of the knee. And we also have it down to your feet. On both the sides, we also have the circumference of your. Uh, of your calves and then also how uh, the circumference of your uh, thighs at the lower part and also at the upper part so what I need to do now is just to take an inseam from the inner side and that will be about it if you can stand a little bit more wide for me okay so I'll just take it like that that's 60 67 and here that's 66 okay so that's 67 and 66 67 on the right Also forgot one part and that is from the shoulders to your fingers if you can have them yes stretched and that is 75 and on the other 
side and that's 75 as well perfect okay now that we are done with the measuring we will be trying on the dress mm -hmm. and we want them accustom you accustom them to your needs okay like that Okay, so first I chose this dress for you. So I chose them for a few particular reasons. First is uh, that I think that this shape will suit you really well. It kind of uh, tightens you at the waist, so it makes your waist look smaller. It also nicely covers your hands uh, and is very loose, so it's not like extremely tight. Um, sometimes when women with larger chests wear um, tight um, basically clothing it can feel a little bit vulgar to mm -hmm. some people so I thought that if you would not go if you would not want to go this way this would be a nice compromise. Mm -hmm. I also chose it uh, because it has really nice color that mm -hmm. I think really goes well with your eyes as well. So you see, uh, if you don't like uh, the sleeves that are just kind of like puffy mm -hmm. and very loose, we can also make them tighter like this. So we can make them mm -hmm. look like this basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, you have there a lot of movement. I think it actually looks really feminine and nice and flowy mm -hmm. kind of. So, also one really good advantage when you have this dress, if you take them somewhere and you eat, you know, uh, just your stomach gets bigger. So it's really nice to have uh, this kind of like strap to just loosen it so that you feel comfortable all mm -hmm. the time. And also if you get hungry during the day, your uh, stomach will just get smaller and smaller so you can always adjust it and make it a little yeah. bit tighter. So I think that this really is going like in handy. Yeah, it's really handy. Okay, so it has also a um, quite nice long skirt. I really like that it's not mini dress. Mm -hmm. I actually like that it's uh, the almost knee length, mm -hmm. uh, which I think looks again very modest. Uh, yeah, so like that. Again, if you would want to uh, I really like that it makes these kind of layers right here. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to, we can make the skin, our uh, skin, we can make the skirt look a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Of course, it would not show like this. It would look, you know, so that it would be like flat. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it really depends if you want to have these layers or not, but again, I would say that it looks really good like this. So overall, it also does not show your cleavage much. Okay, so I think this dress would actually be perfect. Maybe if you go with your partner to a uh, some family meeting or even for dinner I think that it looks really modest mm -hmm. also uh, your uh, necklace is actually going really well with the v-shape uh, cleavage so it kind of looks really nice uh, if you want to you can also of course add some accessories for example if I were to choose any kind of like uh, accessories or on the hat, I would probably use one of these headbands mm -hmm. that are actually um, quite high. It looks kind of nice at some people, at some people it does not. So if you don't mind, I will try it on you now. Mm -hmm. So which do you think would look nice on you? This maybe? This one probably, right? So. We'll just locate your ears, which are right here and right there. And I will just try to kind of go behind the ears. Okay. 
if you want to, you can adjust it so mm -hmm. that it feels more comfortable. Like this more? Yeah. Okay. Also, what we kind of don't want is to show the ears. Mm -hmm. Because I will just show it to you now. If you just remove it, it kind of like puts your ears a little mm -hmm. bit forward, mm -hmm. as you can see. So it's really nice to have the uh, hair at the front so that it does not really show mm -hmm. that much. say it kind of reminds me of an elvish look mm -hmm. so it looks really nice though I really like it okay we could also try Can it's you better. see? It's better, right? Mm -hmm. I probably like it better as well. Okay, let me look at you in the mirror. And this green in particular suits you really, really well. Mm -hmm. I would say I really like this color on you. Okay. So if you want to, uh, we can make this dress. Also, it is a possibility to make it without the white dots, mm -hmm. just like plain. Or if you want, we can add some other like texture and pattern to it. Mm -hmm. It also doesn't really have to be in this um, in this particular uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. But I would say that this one is really light, good for summer or spring, so that you do not feel hot. Okay. Okay. Great. If you can just turn around. I would just make a few adjustments such as I would probably uh, put the sleeve a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, you can just undress now and we will try a different dress on and we will continue with the try on. Okay. Alright, so as a second I choose this dress. It's very light. It's in a dark color, but of course it can be made even maybe in a light blue color that would suit mm -hmm. you well, or maybe in purple. So it, it really matters on you. I will just make it as you need it. So uh, these are just our dress that we have here so you can try them on. Uh, these are of a longer length than the previous one. They end in half of the calf basically. Mm -hmm. So, one thing in particular is that this side, this side and this side, I would make a little bit more to mm -hmm. the center and also on this side as well. So maybe if you want to, uh, we can have your cleavage showing maybe about like this mm -hmm. or this, or it can be even like that if you prefer it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it really depends on what you prefer. Yeah, this is too big. I this think. is too big, yeah, I think so as well. Mm -hmm. So 
what we have here is basically another strap. Uh, there is a hole at the side of the dress, mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. So you basically put it through the hole and then bind it uh, if you want to at the front, if you want to, it can also be mm -hmm. on the side or you can even bind it in the, uh, mm -hmm. like on the back. So again, we have here such uh, sleeves. Again, they are kind of flowy, which I think looks feminine. But if you don't want them, they don't even have to be there. It can look like this, so mm -hmm. that your um, basically shoulder is showing, but I think that this looks nice. Mm -hmm. Or we can make it tighter again, like this. And it can be just mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that. What I also kind of like is when uh, there are sleeves that end about here, at mm -hmm. this side or at this part of the hand, mm -hmm. a little bit about, uh, above, under the elbow, basically. So, it can look like that. I'll just try to style it. If we leave the dress like that, you can also buy a lace, basically, uh, that covers mm -hmm. the chest. So basically, we used a shirt now that we have here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. We can also add a support for your breast if you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the inside of the dress looks basically like this. So, basically uh, not much is showing, it just mm -hmm. like covers, but of course if you need to, you can also like stick out your leg out of the dress. Mm -hmm. So, it looks nice. All right, so I like this dress on you. However, I will really make the adjustment for about here with the cleavage. I really like uh, that the skirt at the bottom is again kind of flowy with wrinkles. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, we can, uh, we can keep that. It also has two layers of the dress. Mm -hmm. So it's not see-through. Yeah. So if you can just turn around again. Okay. So the dress ends here, but if you want to, we can also make all the back open so that your back shows, but it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. I think it looks uh, great the way it actually is. It also, again, enhances the shape uh, where you have like broader shoulders, then a uh, tight waist, and then again, wide hips. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can take uh, these off again and we can continue with another one. Okay. So another dress I chose are uh, this ones. Uh, first of all, I will just brush your hair if you do not mind because mm -hmm. from all the changing mm -hmm. it just got a little bit messy.
adjusted to your own preference. Mm -hmm. So I would yes. say that this color actually goes well with the dress. Mm -hmm. It looks like really subtle. Okay, so when it comes to this dress, there is a lot that is going on. So first off, we have these, these sleeves. So you can have it basically right here mm -hmm. that your shoulders are showing. Or you can have it more up mm -hmm. so that your shoulder is covered. Basically, uh, it depends on what you're looking for. So if you have it like and this down, it looks like that. And if we put it up, it looks more like this, mm -hmm. which I think is really nice. But also it looks really well huh? as when we pull it down as well. Okay, like this. And like that. However, if we put it down, it makes it a little bit an excess fabric basically mm -hmm. so if you want to um, we can remove that mm -hmm. if that's what you want if you would wear it like this only mm -hmm. you can definitely like um, take this away okay so if you look you have the you have the uh, basically this sewing it helps to keep the fabric uh, stretching mm -hmm. so that in case that um, your uh, body just changes mm -hmm. even during the month because mm -hmm. it happens a lot because of like hormones it still uh, will fit you well so I would say this is like one of the biggest advantages that uh, these dress have It is looser at the uh, biceps and triceps, right here. So we could again adjust it to be tighter. However, I think it's really nice to have some uh, space to have free movement. Mm -hmm. Then we also have here this part. If you want to, it can be cut off if mm -hmm. you don't like uh, the sleeves. Mm -hmm. They are actually like really really big mm -hmm. as you can see but I would say it again um, adds to the feminine nice look mm -hmm. here at the bottom there are these basically little balls mm -hmm. that are attached to it again it can be added it can be removed whatever you prefer and again there is a stitching just helps to keep uh, the sleeves as they are a little bit you know uh, structured mm -hmm. okay so if you want to we can also make it smaller because as you can see it's like really big it's going from your uh, basically shoulder to your hip mm -hmm. right so It also again has uh, the structure right here. Again, uh, if you want to eat during the day, it's great that it expands and then again, like goes back, mm -hmm. and there is no problem with that. Okay, it also has two layered skirt. Again, it's uh, it's it's not uh, knee length. It's about half of your tie, uh, as if you would have, um, for example, uh, cycle shorts. Mm -hmm. It's about the same length. I really like it though. If you want to have only one of the layers, this again can be removed. Mm -hmm so that you can only keep the bottom part if you don't like it mm -hmm. but I think again that it looks really nice as it is otherwise we would not have it here mm -hmm. of course so there again the balls attached 
they can be removed and it can just remain as uh, this one without the walls, you know, and it can just keep like this. All right. So overall, also if you spin around, uh, it will make, yes, it will make the uh, kind of, um, fairy tale. yeah, fairy tale kind of look. If I were to have any hairstyle with it, I would probably keep a strand there, cover the ear with the strand here. Maybe you could lift the hair up like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, like so it. you can actually see even the neck and it just looks like a very feminine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So. Maybe a little bit a uh, tight necklace mm -hmm. would be better mm -hmm. with the dress because uh, there is a lot of going on there since mm -hmm. there is like not the V uh, shape cleavage basically mm -hmm. uh, then I think that it looks nice if you just keep it shorter. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so you can just take them off and we will try uh, the last one that we have. And so the last dress is this one. So uh, this time it's in pink color because I thought it would kind of suit you well, mm -hmm. uh, especially now with the Barbie thing going on. So um, again, we have the sleeves. If you turn around and look into the mirror, you can actually uh, see that it looks the same on the whole length, mm -hmm. not only at the front but also at the back. So it kind of makes the mermaid kind of look. Mm -hmm. I would say that the color again suits you really well. It's a little bit see-through, so um, there is uh, your price basically showing. So if you want to um, kind of wear a black bra, I would not recommend mm -hmm. it. It's best to have it in the skin uh, tone color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not see-through at the bottom. You basically have the uh, two layers again. One is right here and the second one is right there. Mm -hmm. So the bottom part is not see-through, only the uh, top one mm -hmm. basically. So again, it has kind of like layers at the front. Uh, what I would probably do um, is adjust it here a little bit. I would remove the excess of fabric right there mm -hmm. and also at the other side so that it kind of supports you a little bit more and also covers you a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes the uh, dress have tendency to open itself. Yeah. Uh, with the time and movement, so uh, it might get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would definitely make the adjustment right here and right there. Okay. Also, you have here again a hole. Mm -hmm. It's also on the other side, so if you want to, you can add a belt that mm -hmm. would just uh, make it look a little bit more stylish, I would mm -hmm. say. It can be probably with this color, I would recommend probably a brown one, definitely not a black one. Mm -hmm. That would be like too much contrast mm -hmm. with, the, uh, with the pink. So maybe a color like 
this would mm -hmm. go quite quite well. Okay. When it comes to if I were to choose I would probably go with this one not this one, there seems to be again uh, same as the black I think that there is too much contrast yeah. between um, the white and the pink mm -hmm. which is a oh, lot saturated but this one looks really great together. Green and pink overall seem like a really good match. Again, if you look at the color wheel, it's the same. They are basically like on the opposite, mm -hmm. so it looks really nice. Just now. Oh, it's more like red is on the opposite. But I don't really like red and green together that mm -hmm. much. yourself into the mirror. Again, mm -hmm. yeah, makes you look again a little bit like from a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. I really like the look. Like if I were to go maybe to a wedding, I would not hesitate to take this dress if it's within the dress code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's not within the dress code, because sometimes there is like a color palette that is like chosen prior to the event. So it's always good to know, but I would really like these ones. Mm -hmm. But you can also wear them if you go to a city. Okay, so if you do not like this particularly, I'm actually showing you all kind of sleeves uh, that we can like make on all the dresses. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, we can add uh, the ones that are actually like really open and fluid that we had before on the uh, blue dress or it doesn't have to have any or it can look like with the, uh, with the black dress that was like about here ending mm -hmm. so it's definitely everything is like up to you okay so in this case I probably like better when the um, hair is actually loose mm -hmm. when it's not up but maybe also we can make basically if you want to do it something that just like mm -hmm. lifts your hair so that it doesn't look the flat it could look mm -hmm. good as well okay so you can just uh, choose the dress that you want and we will make them done for you. Do you have any that you would like to really keep in the state that they are in? Maybe this one. This one, okay. I like it. Okay. And the sleeves. Okay. And if you of course want to, you can also buy the headband as well. Okay. I'm not pushing you to buy <laughs> it, but it really looks good on you. Okay, so uh, it was wonderful to me. Uh, change on you to style you and hopefully you will come next time and we will make another dress for you thank you it was okay. amazing okay bye bye, bye.